All right, what is up, you guys? Uh, I hope you had a nice holiday, good New Year's, all that. Um, it doesn't really feel like a new year to me, but uh, here we are anyways, uh, same place, uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, I'm JT. Uh, if you have not been watching, um, I make vegan food here. Um, yeah, so I got myself an air fryer uh, this holiday season and to try it out, I have like checked out some recipes um, and I want to start with the easiest one so if you got yourself an air fryer or somebody got you an air fryer for the holidays let's start with kale chips um, I've always tried to make them in my oven and always burnt them it's so delicate so let's give this a go today um, it's gonna be pretty easy so um, I already pre-washed this kale it looks pretty um, dry there is a bit of wetness uh, so first things first what you're gonna want to do is separate the um, kale from the spine. So this, this part here, we don't really want that. Um, so you can just pull it off. Um, and then we're gonna, um, we're gonna focus on drying it after two. And as you go, just uh, tear up the pieces into like a bite-sized, chip-sized piece um, and put them in your bowl. All right, so now that we have our bowl of pretty much 100% dried kale, uh, I know it looks like a lot. You're gonna probably have to do like two or three batches. Um, so you want about a bunch of kale. So uh, five-ish um, cups, I guess. Um, and then we're going to add two things. We just need some olive oil. Um, I just have this extra virgin stuff. I'm sure that will work fine. We're gonna use one tablespoon so just spread that around that's half a tablespoon so first uh we'll just um massage this all in and really like massage it you're not gonna do anything um bad to the kale all right so about after like 30 seconds i guess we're gonna add one more half of one tablespoon of olive oil. And then we're gonna add about a couple turns of this. So like, let's say about one fourth of um, a teaspoon of sea salt. So let's just coat the top like that. And then I got this extra bowl here to sort of toss it around so that I don't huck it onto the floor. Um, so yeah, just shake it like a salad, I guess. Then add a little bit more. Coat the top there. Feel free to massage it around again a little bit more just in case. And now, you're ready to start making it in the air fryer. So um, I have this dish here. With air fryers and pretty much anything, you wanna just like sort of coat the bottom. You don't need to put a lot. Um, because yeah, you it won't cook evenly. So I'll put about that much um, and then we're gonna put it in at 375 um, for about three minutes. And then we're gonna take it out and shake it and put it back in for another two-ish minutes. Just kind of keep an eye on it after three minutes, basically. Um, and so while we wait, uh, I wanted to say that you can add other spices and stuff like that. Like maybe you can add like a chili spice on top of it. And if you wanna do that, I would do it after. Um, and again, just put it back in your bowl for the kale and just uh, shake it around with whatever spice you like. Um, today I'm gonna add nutritional yeast because it's what I have and it tastes really good. 
Um, if you've never tried it, like with olive oil and salt and po on popcorn, like nutritional yeast, um, you should try that too. But yeah, uh, this is a really good way to have like a nice snack that's not gonna like be really bad for you. Um, and it's also incredibly cheap if you do it this way instead of uh, buying store-bought. So here's what it looks like after uh, three minutes. So we're just gonna take it and do, shake it around so that it evenly cooks and it's already getting pretty crispy. Oh, hell yeah. This is like literally the most perfect kale chips I've ever made. <laughs> um, so we'll just put them in another bowl on the side there and then just continue that over and over again until these are ready. Um, and then I'll show you how to season them. All right, so here we have it, a nice bowl of crispy kale. Uh, and like I said before, if you wanted to add some sort of uh, spices to it, I would just take some nutritional yeast. That's what I would like to add to it. Of course, you are your own human. Um, add whatever you like. Just sprinkle it on top. Oh, it looks amazing. Tastes amazing too. I actually ate like a couple of big handfuls while I was waiting. Um, all right, so there you have it. Um, really simple air fryer kale chips. Um, I hope that you liked this and you got something out of it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified for the next time my videos come up. Peace.